it's the Gear Tester here, and in this video, I'm going to focus on my two favorite handguns that are chambered in 22 long rifle. There is nothing quite as nice as a good quality 22 long rifle handgun. Nothing quite as much fun as a good quality 22 caliber handgun. And the two pistols you're looking at right now, the Smith & Wesson Model 63 and the Smith & Wesson 22 Compact are my two favorite 22 caliber handguns. They are Excellent. They are reliable. They are both relatively lightweight, and I like them both equally, but for different reasons. I have owned a plethora of 22 caliber handguns over the years. Most of those have been Ruger. In fact, all of those have been Ruger. I have owned the, I have owned uh, four, yeah, four uh, Ruger 22 caliber handguns. I have owned the uh, Ruger 2245 Light, the Ruger 2245, just a standard pencil barrel, the Ruger Mark III with a standard blued pencil barrel that's like four and a half inches long, and then a stainless steel Ruger Mark III with the bull barrel. And I have thousands of rounds through the SR-22. A couple of my friends have had them, and we've shot them a terrific amount. And I, I don't have any of those guns anymore. And I have moved in the last year and a half to these two guns because they are so reliable, because they are relatively easy to clean. In the case of the revolver, extremely easy to clean. In the case of the 22 Compact, and because I just like these guns better than all those other pistols. I have not owned a uh, Browning Buckmark, but I don't like those pistols. I don't like the way they take down. I prefer the, uh, the way in which the Rugers look. But I can just tell you what, these are better handguns. I have thousands and thousands of rounds through uh, the Mark III and the 2245 from Ruger through those four pistols. Okay, I have shot loads of these boxes, loads and loads of those 550 round bulk packs. Okay, of 22 long rifle through those pistols, and this was long before there was a the 22 uh, long rifle crisis because everyone's buying it all the time. I would go and buy two or three boxes and shoot them each Sunday or each afternoon when I go out with my friends. A shooting. But these two pistols are better than all the other 22 caliber pistols I have experience with. In the case of the Smith & Wesson M&P 22 Compact, it is an extremely reliable gun and it is easy to take down and maintain. It has great three dot sights. Okay, just, just excellent. It has great controls that are very easy to get at and it's ambidextrous, which means if I want to shoot with my left hand or I have to shoot with my left hand or I want to practice shooting with my left hand, I can do that. The sights are adjustable, and it is very lightweight at 15.3 ounces, okay? Extremely lightweight. It's awesome that it comes with the rail if you want to use that, if you want to plug on a, a light or a laser or something of, of that nature. Just a great gun. The controls are easy, and it has great drop-free magazines. It doesn't have any of the problems that I've encountered with other 22 caliber pistols, some of those being Ruger, some of those being others. It's a great gun for me to use when I'm doing things like practice and training for concealed carry or self-defense scenarios. It's cheaper to shoot the 22 long rifle, and uh, I still get trigger time in, and trigger time is trigger time. And being able to practice drills and movement and shooting at a, a relatively affordable price with the uh, M&P 22 Compact that mirrors most of the functions and features of my center fire handguns. There's, there's nothing better than that. I love its size, too. It's, it's about the size of a Glock 19, which means it's easy to carry. It's easy to have on you if maybe you're going hunting and you're going to take a 22 pistol with you. It's not big. It's not bulky. It fits the hands of guys that are 6 and a half feet tall and women that are 4 feet 11 inches. Okay, It's a, it's a great pistol. It's a great size, and I also like that it doesn't have any funky back straps that you have to worry about, things that come on and off. It's just simple. They made a grip that fits most people and is a great gun, okay? Just excellent. I don't have enough nice things. I, I don't, I can't say enough nice things about this pistol, okay? 
in the case of this revolver, which is a, a relatively expensive gun, you're going to pay around the better part of $700 for this gun. You're going to pay less than $400 for the 22 Compact. Uh, this revolver is, is just an awesome gun. I love these sights, which you can see there, that glowing uh, fiber optic front sight there. And I like that I can fire this gun double action, pulling the trigger all the way through, or cocking the hammer back and firing it single action. I like that about this gun. It has great, great sights again, okay? And it's relatively lightweight at 26 ounces, okay? Or 25 ounces, actually, just under 25 ounces. Uh, it has, I have a great holster for this one. This is a uh, DeSantis uh, scabbard holster. I can carry this cross draw or I can carry this strong side. And when I get this pistol in this holster and on my hip, it just melts away. I don't even know it's there. It's a great pistol to take into the woods on hikes where I might do some plinking or where I might do some small game hunting. Just an awesome, awesome combination. Okay. One of the reasons I like having a revolver in 22 long rifle, in particular this size, it's got a three inch barrel, it's got a great size, again this, this grip fits guys that are big, uh, men or children or women that have smaller hands, just a great gun. It actually has a relatively good double action trigger pull, okay, boom, boom, it's, it's not hard to stage, it's very, very nice and I can hit, you know, eight inch steel plates at relatively far distances double action, okay. You guys have seen me do that in the range reports that I've done on this handgun. But the reason I like having a revolver, and bring out some live ammo to show you, is of course that it, it's extremely reliable. As long as you keep it clean and the fouling down, it's extremely reliable. With just standard 22 long rifle ammo, whether that's bulk or that's better quality ammo like the CCI Mini Mags. But when it comes to specialty ammo, the, uh, the revolver does a better job. You can see these little 22 uh, cartridges. I call these quiet bullets, okay? And uh, because they're basically a primer with a very light 20 grain uh, bullet in it. So it, I, as far as I understand, they don't have any powder in them, and I could be wrong there, but if they do have any powder, it's very, very minimal, the amount. You can see they're actually shorter than a standard long rifle round, okay? So if I can show you these here, you can see there, this is the uh, 22 quiet bullet that I'm calling it and uh, and this is a standard round which means that they do not run well in semi-automatics in most cases in some cases like the SR22 you could stack them up you still have to cycle the action they don't have enough power to cycle the action on a 22 semi-automatic handgun but in the case of the revolver that's not a problem at all I can just drop those in okay and then I can just cycle right through, boom, 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 right? Or cock the hammer back. And that allows me to do pest control on my property as well as uh, just shoot and plink uh, in, in ways that are quieter. My, my sound signature is lower so I don't get people unhappy or angry with me or I'm less likely to do that. Of course, I'm doing that in a safe and appropriate and legal manner, okay? Emphasizing safe and appropriate over legal Okay, because sometimes things that are legal are really not safe or appropriate or smart. Okay, but that allows me to shoot those quietly, these quieter bullets, and they're significantly quieter. Okay, significantly quieter. And so I use them in my rifles and I also use them in my pistols, but I can leave this thing loaded up eight rounds. And then if I need to take care of some animal that's raiding the chicken coop or uh, some animal that's sick, I'm able to do that very quickly. And, uh, because it's a revolver, it cycles the action easily. Now, other specialized ammo that you might okay, want to do as well in, in the same, same kind of genre are these little uh, shot shells, 22 long rifle shot shells. They're maybe a little overrated. People who think they're totally awesome and go a little bit crazy for them, but I like having them. Again, they're another fun thing to shoot, and they don't cycle the actions of semi-automatic handguns, at least none of the, the semi-automatic handguns I've tried them in. Uh, but they'll function perfectly in the revolver, right? Because every time you either cock the hammer back or you pull the trigger, the cylinder rotates. That's manual. I'm the person. The person operating the gun is what's doing that, not the actual blowback like a semi-automatic handgun. So these are my, my two favorite 22 caliber handguns. The Smith & Wesson Model 63, stainless steel, 3-inch, awesome J-frame revolver. Okay. And right there, that is, it's a beautiful gun too. I really like this gun because it is beautiful.
and the uh, M&P 22 Compact, which is a great gun for plinking. Both these guns excel at plinking. Both these guns excel at small game hunting. Both these guns are just excellent pistols. But I use the 22 Compact primarily for plinking and for training, and I use the uh, Smith & Wesson Model 63 primarily for hunting and, uh, and environment control on my property. Uh, but these are my two favorite handguns in 22 Long Rifle, and I would recommend them to you, my viewers and subscribers. This one's more pricey, this one's more affordable, but you cannot go wrong with either one of these handguns. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. If you like this video, if you're interested in what I have to say, leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. If you're interested in more information, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel for more quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. This is the Gear Tester signing off. It's the Gear Tester here, and in this video, I'm going to focus on my two favorite handguns that are chambered in 22 Long Rifle. There is nothing quite as nice as a good quality 22 long rifle handgun. Nothing quite as much fun as a good quality 22 caliber handgun. And the two pistols you're looking at right now, the Smith & Wesson Model 63 and the Smith & Wesson 22 Compact are my two favorite 22 caliber handguns. They are excellent, they are reliable, they are both relatively lightweight, and I like them both.